Hello, my name is John Pinto, and I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'll be presenting Dominique Pernay's course on celestial navigation. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing our discussion of the sun coordinates in the almanac, looking at how you handle minutes and seconds of time, because most likely you're not going to be taking your sight exactly at an hour mark <clears throat> for zero minutes, zero seconds. So obviously it's going to involve some interpolation, but the almanac makes this uh, pretty painless. So Dominique uh, books and uh, exercises are available at marinenavigationbooks.com. And you can pull down some free resources there, including this slide deck that the course is based on and a free PDF of the exercise book. You can also purchase the exercise book to get yourself a physical hard copy, which is nice to have. So let's get dive right in. So <clears throat> let's say we are on July 30th, the year 2003, and we're taking a site somewhere between the time of 01 and 0200 hours UTC. You're going to go into your almanac and you're going to look at these values in here. And what we're going to do is, uh, let's say um, it's 0100 hours and say 20 minutes or something like that. <clears throat> what you're going to pull out of the almanac is the hours, uh, the, the row for the for the hours, nor the minutes and seconds for a second. So we're going to look at the row for 0100 hours and pull these numbers out. So you're going to pull the GHA out. You're going to pull out the declination, and you're going to note one further little piece of information. This number down here, 0.6D. I'm going to sh show you how that helps us interpolate for declination. And then the other thing you're going to want to look at is, are the declinations increasing or decreasing? Just strictly, are the numbers going up or down? So if we look here, going from 0100 hours to 0200 hours, looks like the declination is decreasing. Okay, so that's going to be important as well. It also shows you the sun's semi-diameter for that day, um, which is you know, nice to know, but it's not going to come into our calculations. <clears throat> Just as a reminder that the sun turns around at approximately 15 degrees per hour, if you were to subtract the 0100 hours and from the 0200 hours, you'd see that, yep, sure enough, sun's turning at about 15 degrees per hour. So let's get going at 0120 and 18 seconds. Let's get the GHA. <clears throat> so what we do is we go into the part of the almanac called the increments and, increments and corrections table. Usually it's at the back of the almanac. Um, if you get the official almanac, it'll be actually in kind of yellow buff colored pages, make it easier to find. And you're going to go to the minutes page. Uh, and on that page, you're going to see 20 minute table. There's a little bit of a blown up copy of that 20 minute table. And you're going to go down for your minutes, which was 18, uh, 20 minutes. And we're going to go down here for your seconds. So 18 seconds. So 20 minutes, 18 seconds. The sun will have moved in the sun column five degrees, 4.5 minutes. We're just going to add that to our GHA at 0100 hours to get our GHA at 01 hours, 0100 hours, 20 minutes, and 18 seconds. Add those two together, and you get 198 degrees and 27.7 minutes. Pretty simple. The almanac did all of our interpolations for us. Very, very nice. Now let's go for declination. So <clears throat> at 0100 hours, it was 18 degrees, 39 points minutes and we uh, if you had done the subtraction from the declination of 200 hours we would see it went down by 0, 0 0.6 minutes per hour so what was it at exactly 0100 20 minutes and 18 seconds the way you do that because declination changes so slowly you can just basically ignore the seconds and just look at the at the minutes So again, we go to our 20 minute table. And if you look over here, you get this nice little 
interpolation table, we look up 0 0.6 and it says for 20 minutes, that comes out to 0 0.2. And because we knew it was going down, we have to subtract it from our uh, declination that was at 0100 hours. And we get that it was north 18 degrees, 38.9 minutes. And that's our declination at 012018. Again, really nice. The almanac does all our interpolation for us. We just have to pull a number out of the table and do a little arithmetic. Let's go for a second example. February 1st, 1800 hours, 24 minutes, 35 seconds. We look in our table uh, for February 1st at the uh, 1800 hour mark. We pull that out and we notice our D. We're going to pull out the 19 hours just for some uh, confirmation of our, of our numbers. So we look at 1,800 and 1,900 hours, we look at their difference, and hmm, it's not exactly 15 degrees per hour, but that, as we said, that's 15 degrees per hour is a very good approximation. It's not going to get too far, far away from 15 degrees per hour, but it's not going to be exactly uh, on every day or every hour of the year, but that's no matter to us. As long as it's close to 15 degrees per hour, we're, we're good to go. So we need to know what's the GHA at 18 hours, 24 minutes, and 35 seconds. So we look at our table for 24 minutes, we go down to 35 seconds, and we say, see the sun will have moved 6 degrees, 8.8 .8 minutes. So we take our 1800 hours GHA, we add our increment for 24 minutes, 35 seconds, which we just pulled out of the increments and corrections table. We add those two together. And we get 92 degrees, 45.1 minutes. Again, it's nice that the almanac does all of that work for us. We just have to do a little arithmetic. Let's go for declination. Again, for declination, we can ignore the seconds. Um, when we pulled it out of the tables, uh, sorry, we pulled out of the almanac daily page, uh, we saw that um, it was south 1704. And at 1900, it was 1703.2. So again, declination is decreasing. So we've got a minus sign there. And that turns out to be 0, 0, 0 0.8 uh, minutes. At the bottom of that table, if you had noticed, it was, the D was 0.7. Let's just go back for a second and look at that. So you notice it was 0 0.7 down here. Now, you could use either the... Uh, number that you calculate from doing the subtraction or just use the number that's down at the bottom of the table. It's really not going to make very much bit of a difference. It's typically only going to be off by 0 0.1 minutes. Um, and you're going to see uh, when we do the interpolation, it makes very little difference. So rather than spend your time doing this, you can just take the D at the bottom of the table. So let's take a look. Go back to that 24 minute table. We go to the D of 0 0.7 and we got a correction of 0 0.3. Oh, look, the correction if we had used 0 0.8 is also 0 0.3. Might as well just use the D at the bottom of the table. So we do our arithmetic, south 17 degrees, 4.0 minutes. Remember it was going down, so we need to remember the minus sign, the 0 0.3 from the table. And we get that our declination at 1824.35 is south 17 degrees, 03.7 minutes. Again, simple, simple, simple. Just pull a number out of a table, do a little arithmetic, and you're good to go. And now we've got some good examples for you to try, some exercises for you to try. Uh, we've got dates and times. You pull the numbers out of the almanac. Pull out your interpolation numbers from the increments and corrections table and get your GHA and your declination. Good, good practice. And uh, hopefully um, you find it fairly straightforward. And you're going to say, what was all of the uh, hubbub and commotion that celestial navigation is so difficult? Um, as you can see, it's you know, something you probably can teach a fourth grader to do. Next time we get together, we will cover the next 
major topic you need to understand to do celestial navigation called local hour angle. See you next time.